Hi everyone, it's uh, Bucko here from VideoGamePerfection.com and today we're going to look at a new device, relatively new on the market, called the Super UFO. So let's get a look at that guy there. And that's it in the box. And let's have a look at the back. I don't know if you can read this, but it says apparently the aliens have arrived in the palm of your hands. Introducing the Super UFO Pro 8. With this unique device, you are now able to save your SNES or 16 bit games. Oh, don't know really well what that means since it only works on the SNES. When you feel like taking a break. Now, supposedly, what this does is let you save the contents of memory during play. So, on the old school games, if there isn't a save point for another three hours, you can just hit a button and save where you are. So I used to have a cartridge that could do this on the old C64 so it's possible but does it work? Anyway, let's get this guy out of the box. Let's have a look here. Let's see what we get. Looks like a USB transfer cable. That's a micro SD adapter. Not sure why they've included that, but I suppose it's a nice freebie. We've got the cartridge itself. And see there there's a slot for a standard SNES cartridge. Um you can back up save games with that or if say you've got a super effects game like Star Wing, Star Fox you put that on there and then you can run other super effects games from the memory card slot so that's the theory anyway, that's pretty cool and some software and a user guide which I guess I'll have to read now so, I'll go away and do that and figure out how everything works. And then, get back to you in the next part of the video. Okay then, so I've got the Super UFO there hooked into my multi-region Super Famicom. And on top, I've got the Super Mario World cartridge. So, I'll show you a few things I like about this um, flash card player. And a few things that I don't. Right, so if you'll excuse my camera operating, there might be some glare in the screen. Normally I close that window, the curtains rather, before I play, but okay, I'll just power on the, the SNES or the Super Famicom prefer. Okay. So that's the main screen you get when you fire up the Super UFO, and um, the most, but excuse me, the most basic function you can go to here. Then you can play the cartridge in the top if you want to. You click on play SD card, select a game to play. Press the button copies from the SD card into the Super UFO's RAM. Let's wait while that happens. And we're off, playing a game. Okay, so far so normal, so I'll just Flick the Super Famicom off and on. Now I want to show you a feature that I personally think is pretty cool. If you go over here onto backup. Now, as I showed you, I've got my Super Mario World in here. So I'm going to click on Game Cart to SDC, SD card. And then... Oops, I 
game cut, press DC and then press. What did I press? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Then I'll enter a name. How do we delete? Dodge it. So we go and press the red button and it gets the name from the cartridge. Okay, that's pretty quick, so let's go back out of that. See if we can play. Let's go for Mario World. And yep, yeah, there we go. That was a, a little bit of a botch demonstration, but let's go back out again. Oh, before we do that, oh, it's actually copied all the save game data as well. Notice that it's level 25, level 24. Um, I'm just going to take that out and power back on oh that didn't work that's probably because I switched it off and on and it's doesn't actually hold its memory. You have to copy it back from the SD card. So go to play SD card and reload that. And there we go. It's actually remembered all the save game positions. Now you can do that as well you can just copy the save games from your cartridge and use them with a ROM image if you want to. And I actually tested that before and that did work, so that was pretty cool.